Well, now to a story that every parent needs to know, especially during this National School Bus Safety Week. 17,000 children end up in the hospital from school bus accidents every year. And in the past decade, at least 64 children have died getting on and off the bus. The biggest risk for kids is what's known as the danger zone. That's the 10 feet surrounding a stopped bus. CBS's Meg Oliver reports in depth on one school district that's trying to solve the problem. For driver Brenda Shawshaw in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, at each stop, student safety is her top concern. What do you see? I see people cutting us off. I see people going around the bus, whether the stop sign's out or not. Passing a school bus flashing red lights is against the law in all states, and yet many drivers don't stop. Now, 120 buses in Shawsha School District are mounted with cameras, recording every violator's license plate. Videos are forwarded to police to issue a $300 fine. The times that it is right now, people are more aggressive, less patient. In neighboring Allentown, during a 47-day study in 2019, cameras on two buses recorded 205 illegal stop-arm violations. Nationwide, school buses are passed illegally more than 17 million times a year. It was a heart-stopping moment. In 2018, Amber Clark and her daughter Olivia, then in kindergarten, had a close call. There was a white car that had ran the stop sign and uh, it was barreling towards us and it didn't look like it was slowing down. I had just enough time to scoop up my daughter and spin. The, uh, the windshield grazed her backpack. After the terrifying incident, she successfully lobbied to have a law enacted permitting cameras on bus stop arms. How does it work? For Bethlehem Superintendent Joseph Roy, the beauty of the plan is that the cameras are free. What do you say to the naysayers who say this is just big brother overreaching? Yeah, I've had a couple of emails on that. And I guess my response is, I'm worried about the kids. My job is the kids and just drive more safely. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania.